No time to start looking, stupid. The rescuers should be right up ahead. I don't like you. <laughs> Hi, I'm Ben. You could say I'm at a low point at the moment. It's... Okay, my girlfriend wants to dump me! And in order to put some fire back into our romance, we decided to go on this trip. Mister! I'm your guide for this adventure! In order to get out of tour safely, you must do three things. One, you must fasten your seat belt. Two, you have to put down your armrest. Three, you must hold on to the controller tightly. Did you do it okay? Is this racist? I think this might be racist. That's right! During the tour, when you see this mark, it is the time for action! Follow the direction chose on the screen and press the action button. If you start to feel queasy, press the red button. Don't push yourself too hard, okay? And don't drop drinks around your seat. If you drop stuff, you see it will get stuck. If you have any problems, just call the attendant outside. Okay, we are about to start your exotic jungle tour. The the tourist characters don't speak like this, by the way. He doesn't speak like that because this game was made in Japan. He speaks like that because he's supposed to be foreign. And he's supposed to have a poor grasp of English. I... The main characters speak perfect fine English. <laughs> he's supposed to sound like that. This might be racism. This game was made by the Japanese. I don't know. <laughs> Hello everybody and welcome to Let's Go Jungle Special Edition. This is a emulated version of a arcade game that, uh, as you saw from the instructional video just now, uh, is was part of basically a pseudo-ride kind of situation. So, um, there were tracks, uh, movements, that kind of thing. They tried to match the movement to the arcade. And um, it was, um, it had like a proper booth and I think multiple screens, don't quote me on that. It had the whole shebang in terms of uh, high quality rail shooter arcade games. And we're gonna be playing it. <laughs> uh, obviously this does not have a lot of the, em it cannot emulate the hardware, it cannot emulate, I think it had multiple screens, if not, it, it, I don't know, but you get what I'm saying. It can't emulate a lot of those things, but it can emulate the game itself. I believe there's a lot of minor changes. Uh, you've already met the change of our tour guide from questionable gorilla fight, retired gorilla fighters to is this racist sombrero guy, both of which are, are questionably racist, but this one is a bit more questionable. This is a game made by the Japanese, so uh, d d blame them, not me. <laughs> Our good friends at Sega have some explaining to do. But um, this, from what I gather, is uh, just overall a similar game to the normal version, but has uh, new features. Another thing I must add is that if you fail in this version, you uh, are kicked because they were meant to keep the queue lines moving more. So if I fail certain areas, it'll flat out uh, kick me from the game. Uh, so if that happens, I'm sorry, you're going to see some weird uh, cuts and stuff. Uh, the screen is, I'm sure you've noticed the standard edition screen. I couldn't get it to full wide definition without breaking things. So, uh, just kind of roll with it. My screen, the one I'm going to be shooting off of, is notably smaller. So that's my excuse if I suck ass. That right there. So yeah, um, I guess let us begin proper. Hello. 
You understand my No. Do you show us a look? I give you gun so you can protect yourself. <laughs> the desync. So yeah, um, if you've watched the standard edition, one, Ben is still a whiny bitch. Yeah, stop talking, Ben. God. Um. We now have a shared health between player one and player two. I am having both players activated, so I get double shot. Um. You do get bonuses for uh, joint shots and stuff, but I don't think it applies until the end of the level, and even then, not much. Um, so you can't just, you know, cheat. I'm not doing a significant cheat by having both shoot. Tourists, I'm sure they'll never appear again in this game. Okay, so this uses both the start and the action controls, which I'm not, I don't know. Okay, pick the right one there. I have to guess which controls are which each time we do one of these. Yeah. So yeah, um, if you've, if you've seen the standard edition, pretty similar so far. Very simplified, distinctively faster. Uh, less enemies overall. I did not change the difficulty or anything like that. There's just less enemies straight up. Come on, sombrero guy. What do you think those were anyway? <laughs> Woo! Again, I am guessing each time it's one of these quick time events. Anyway, so Mr. Floppy Fangs is back. Hi, Mr. Floppy Fangs. Uh, he might be. I don't know, remember if he's easier or harder to kill in the ver special edition. I've tested this, I haven't actually finished it. He does appear to be slightly easier, which is a good thing for me because, as I said earlier, certain deaths uh, kick you. That's a weird way to do coloration in that uh, orange is good health, green is bad health. Unless I get like a second um, bar, which I really doubt. Err. Damn it, Mr. Floppy Fangs, we've been over this. You could go play fair and poke you out on a different day. I, I just try to enjoy my tour. Oh no! What? Okay, I think it's the same buttons. Ah, oh, see, they default me on the outer again, but at least we made it. Oh, we made it. Bye, Mr. Floppy Fangs. Thanks, Dave. It was 11%. What the shit? Wow, you two were made for each other. It's as if it's y your pointer finger and your middle finger. We probably get back to civilization. Uh, I've got a map. It was for the tour, so it's not very accurate. 
Yep, see, new route. We're gonna just do these in order. So we're gonna do river cruise first. Don't worry. I'm going to edit in the other uh this stuff. Hey, could you pull yourself together? I am sorry. There's a little mushroom on our engine. That way? I didn't notice if that was in the original, I don't I don't remember it. Woo! Yeah, this um we skipped an entire section that was in the standard edition. Uh when we went through the swamp. So that's that's, a, that's like some really big differences there. I guess because they want shorter rides, but more uh, replayability with the new uh, route. Uh, because this is, as I said before, this is meant to be closer to a ride rather than an arcade, direct arcade game. Wow, this is significantly easier. Which means I'm about to die and, and get kicked or something. At some point, I'm gonna have to lower the difficulty just so it doesn't kick me. Oh my god, it's Piranha that lives in the Amazon. Funny enough, the kid who says that lives in Australia. No one ever thinks about that. Oh my god! Yeah! I oh no! Okay, we do get two health bars. Whoa, we skipped the entire small frog section. Okay, so we do get two health bars. That's what the green is. Uh, still not good in terms of, like, not dying. So how are they gonna do the end if we've skipped over the slingshot part of the story? Because we didn't have the whole, where's our gun? Oh, look, slingshots. I don't know, we'll have to see when we do the temple route and see if they keep the slingshots there. Oh yeah, you guys are... Okay, so you guys are in this game, but you've been cut. Your section has been cut. Wah, 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 wah. No, Kermit! I already shot you! We skipped a section there too, I think. They're not very subtle about it with the, the swipe there. Oh, but we kept the part where you take all my health. This had to be in, be fun on the um, ride, though. Yeah, we'll get through this. Don't be a bitch, Nora. Ew. <gasps> Did we do it? Uh. They kept the applesauce. Oh, you both okay? Holy shit, you're here? Right up ahead. You go now quick. How the shit did you get here? Why is the compatibility so? Because <laughs> I suck ass, I guess. All right, and let's go ahead and do the water slide. Which I believe is the water temple. Or the cave temple. Look at this. You mean to slice down this? Oh, 
That was a completely new cutscene. Like, from scratch. Dang. I guess we're not gonna see... Even though they were in the picture, I guess we're not gonna see, uh, the grandfather and... and grandson tourists from before. Yeah, we just, um, had signage. Interesting. Oh, we do have our cave spiders, though. Sort of. Are... Oh, they're there. This is like, are they falling out? Oh. Press the wrong button. <laughs> okay, with a broken audio, that's hilarious. So the pool just leads to it leads into the middle of the village in this version. That's funny. much matter in this version, but in, like, a good way. Oh, don't... You're in this one, too? so much. I'm digging the music in like a concophonous kind of way. <laughs> seagull? Hello. Did it always make seagull noises? Alright, come at me, bro. It really is mysterious Asia. I don't think that's a phrase. No time to start looking stupid. The rescue us should be right up ahead. I don't like you. <laughs> Come on, you two. Talk to each other a little. Oh, you want me to talk to myself? <laughs> Alright, and this time we're gonna do elephant trekking, which I assume... Yeah, there's the elephant kid. There should be a village up ahead. Oh! Aw, oh, damn it. I was hoping for an original level, but now I think about it, this is the no-duh option. Uh, no, instead it took what should be the post-branch level, where everything starts converging again and it made it into this third branch which means if you pick this wouldn't it be significantly harder than the other branches in fact yeah this does seem to be significantly harder than the other two branches that's a bit of a pro <laughs> notable problem is that the kid Just a 
There we go. Happy elephant. Thank hey. you. Thank you. I pay you back. Where do we need to go to get rescued? I know place. Take you there. Big one coming. You get on quick now. Okay, well, <laughs> this does appear to be flat out just the other. Does that even mean that our boss battle is going to be uh, floppy things, para parasect mode? I guess that's what. Uh, we'll see in a second, I guess. Floppy Fangs Parasect Edition. Okay. The audio is breaking up. I'm so sorry about that, guys. You know how these emulators can get, though. Stop that. Just like before, you can make the mushrooms shoot off. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad they kept that detail. Stop yeeting spiders at me! It's terrifying! Could you imagine that as a superpower? Just spawning spiders that you can mass yeet at people, like a, like a beam or something? Just a beam of spiders? <laughs> It's definitely one of those not a hero superpower hero things. <laughs> you know what I mean? Bye bye. Oh, okay. Bye bye. Why are you here? Mister! Help come on other side this river. Get down from elephant. Come this way. I don't like you. Shut up. Bye, Elephant Kid! I really wish you were in the last scene rather than this guy. Whoa! 100%? How? Alright. Underwater temple. So wait. This isn't underwater! Where is this? This used to be a Rami bath. They burn whole field, but use chemical and mix jungle just like science amazing? Wow. I'd rather take the elephant kid over you any day, my god. Alright, let's Resident Evil fight, but I'd have no health. Let's go. What is going on here? It's Resident Evil! So this fight looks about the same, I think. No, we're, fo we're focusing one on one this time. Never mind. It, this one appears to be a bit easier too. I wonder if we're gonna skip sections on this one. Get out of here. I've seen Little Shop before. That was a weird cut. It's cutting cutscenes on that cut. I wonder if that was the case before then. What's gonna happen is I'm gonna get to the final boss and then run out of health. Oh no, Nora!
Saving them is easier too, but I'm thankful for that considering our lack of health. <laughs> Underreaction. I love how they're just like, this is your fault, asshole. I bet this is what got most people. That right there. God, my ears! You okay? Oh, you're so kind, thank you. By the way, Mister, you add so many extra options today. You have to pay... $4,000 more! Good! Was that your problem? It's a skip price for helping those doing couples. You are not freedom. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> I I'm sorry. Wait. <laughs> Kid and tourists who we haven't seen. We don't have the necklace. How are we gonna do the last scene? Okay, cool. I guess we're all good now. Oh, okay. I guess that's that. I. Hello. I feel like you two, the world, okay. Yeah, my, I can, I'm in love with myself according to this game. Good for me. At least they're cute in the background. Anyway. Game over. Get the fuck out. Turn the controller to its case, sis. Please remain seated. It's over. Hello. Return the controller to its case. Remain seated until directed by an attendant. All right, and that was Let's Go Jungle Special Edition. Obviously, this is a, a imperfect recreation of that, but unlike, say, the Lost World Special Edition, uh, it's not lost media. So that alone makes that a, a, makes that a huge improvement over you know previous games I've covered. Um, I'm gonna say it, I greatly, greatly prefer the original. Um, going in, I thought it was just going to be, oh, they replaced the people at the beginning with the sombrero guy or whatever. The fact that he's in at the end like that, I get, it's fun to punch him, but that plus like the less than subtle, that plus the questionable racism and the fact that the kid, which was also questionably racist, was still a much better option. Like, if if the sombrero guy had just replaced the guys at the beginning, the grill, the the ex soldiers at the beginning, that'd be one thing. Uh, the soldiers do add to the setting, uh, but you know, it's it's it's, it's it would be fine to lo miss them in favor of sombrero guy. But the fact he replaces the elephant kid in the last scene, regardless of what path you take, that's a miss. I'm also going to say that with a lot of the what they cut out, you lose a lot of context. And even if you had no prior knowledge of the original version of the game, you could probably tell that this is an abridged scene cut here and there version of, of something, you know? So I thought this, at least on a software standpoint, would be a replacement for the original version. But now that I've played it all the way through, no. Um, if you are emulating these and you only plan to emulate one, emulate the original Let's Go Jungle. Um, I have a video on that already. So go ahead and check that out if you want to see. It's notably superior in terms of at least not being heavily abridged. <laughs> Regardless of the minor changes in the characters, the, the fact that it's not as abridged is notable. What would make up for the fact if you played the special version is that you would have the ride and the air blowing in your face and so on and so forth that they had... Um, 
that they had in the special edition. So with that in mind, that would be, you know, enough to make it worth playing, even if you've played the original. But from an emulation standpoint, definitely give special... Uh, a skip in favor of the original. Um, honestly, if you can play either of these in the wild, go for it. Both of these, both of the versions um, are outdated significantly. I think the first version, the original came out in 2006 and the special edition came out in 2007. So <laughs> if you see them in the wild, not only, not only give them a try, but see if you can purchase them because my God, they're probably worth something now. Um, but... You know, from a purely emulation standpoint, playing these after the fact kind of thing. Because um, as, currently, as of me recording this, the only way you can play these is through emulation. This is not some like, oh, you bastard, go to jail situation. This is an archival of video game history kind of thing. Um, go ahead and uh, just play the original if you want to experience these games. Uh, it's definitely the superior of the two. Um... Overall, though, you know, not bad, not bad. Again, probably better with the ride. Um, I think I prefer the elephant kid over sombrero dude. Uh, and I can go either way on the uh, gorilla fighters. So, yeah, uh, I guess I'm going to call it there for today. Thank you guys so much for coming by. Please, join me next time. I love you. And bye-bye.